So here we have purple loosestrife, the purple plague. It can actually blanket whole, uh, whole wetlands. Here there's just a small patch of it, although actually it's pretty widespread all over. Purple loosestrife was actually introduced as a garden plant and as a source for pollinators. Because it was pest free, meaning it doesn't support a lot of insect life um, other than through its pollen, and because it's tolerant to really wet conditions and goes straight out of the water, it was considered a really great garden plant that it had these beautiful displays of wow of, of color was just an added bonus and of course made it very valuable but it escaped into the gardens out of the gardens and into our wetlands and a, the purple plague can literally blanket whole sides of uh, of coastal plain and so is a nasty invasive produces a ton of seeds and then that makes it very difficult uh, to control because it's by the water you don't want any herbicides going in there but it also spreads so quickly and is so tolerant of less than ideal conditions that um, you know it can crowd out native plants through its sheer size and seed production in a very quick fashion. Purple loose strife, a nasty invasive, the purple plague, and unfortunately something that blankets our wetlands this time of year and what looks like beautiful color, but in reality is the purple plague.